I slept in this morning. My alarm was set for 4.40 because I was going for a walk. Well, the person I was going for a walk with texted me saying they've been vomiting all night, so not going. So I was like, I'm not going either. So I just laid in bed and slept again because I needed it. And it's completely overcast this morning anyway, so I wasn't missing a beautiful sunrise. So good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get my day started. word every day but I think I'm gonna do train to start off with it wasn't too bad and then we send it into our group chat once we've done it wow Tori got it in four and Jackson got it in two. Oh, that was a good guess okay so it starts with an S and then I think it's gonna go T well literally has no choice but to go T and then I it could definitely be still let's try Nice. It's now 7.13. I'm going to make some breakfast. I've been having oats in the morning lately with protein powder and just dark chocolate on top. Curls have been dropped quite a fair bit over the last few weeks because my body wasn't moving or responding. So we made some movements and now it's definitely responding. Thank the Lord. But essentially, I'm on 1750 for training days and 1600 for rest days, which is twice a week. And then I have cardio four times a week, um, 30 minutes each session and 12,000 steps per day on top of my cardio as well. So it's currently like just under 13 weeks out, probably like 12 and a half now. So things kind of like get hard from probably like this point to six weeks out is where you want to see the most amount of changes. So then you're not rushing at the end to basically push when you're already feeling tired, depleted and all the things this is like the most pivotal point in prep, I believe, um, to go as hard as you possibly can right now. So that's exactly what we're doing. I also don't follow a meal plan. I just do like macros and do it myself. I find it works best for me. I pretty much still eat the exact same things every single day. Um, with little changes here and there kind of to like what I want. It just works. And I would rather there's so much more of a meal plan. If Beck wanted me to go on one, I definitely would, but it works this way. I never, oh my God. <laughs> I never put my protein powder in before I put it in the microwave. That was so dumb. I normally do oats, water, microwave, protein powder, but I just did oats, protein powder, water, now microwave. Oh, that is really, <laughs> really annoying. Okay, let's see if this works because we don't have a choice now because I've put it all in. Okay, it actually kind of worked. It's just a little bit thick and hot and like cooked okay look i'm not a huge fan and then this is just the chocolate i put on top i'm just currently using the 90 percent lint one and i'll just use one square which is pretty much 10 grams all right i'm gonna go eat this now and then get stuck into all my check-ins and work for the day I just pulled up at Nobby's Beach where we always go for a walk. It's like the location. It's so good. It's like 1.5 k's to a certain rock, 1.5 k's back. So it's like 3 k's all together. But sometimes we go up the hill just for like some extra steps. But I woke up and I was like, today's not the day. Today's not the day. And that's okay. But I know I'm getting my period either like literally within the next few hours or tomorrow morning. Which is a good thing. It's still coming. So it means everything's in balance. My hormones are good to go. But it's just so rude. 
like surreal. Like on prep, your cal's are already super low. Your energy output is really high. You're starting to have mood swings. Your patience is starting to wear thin a little bit. And then it's like, oh wait, let's track your period on top of this. So like to heighten every single factor you already feel to double you feeling like shit. And it's like, can we not do that? So that's how I feel currently today. It's like everything is just that's how that's how I explain it but it's okay we gotta fake it till we make it um that's the only way to get through really so I'm gonna go for a walk now hopefully feel so much better after I just kind of clear my head get the body moving and then I'll be good to go for the rest of the day but yeah just like woke up and I was like oh yeah nah nah <laughs> that's pretty much how I felt but that's okay that's okay Sometimes you got to have these days to experience the better days and I chose to do prep. So at the end of the day, it's my fault. So I shouldn't be complaining about it, but I'm going to continue to complain about it. Okay. Can he hurry up? I'm waiting and a car's pulling out next to me. So goodbye. our way now to Tart Bakery to have the meeting with the podcast person. Um, I went for the walk. Feel a little bit wet up. Obviously not. <laughs> I was gonna say. I feel, also better. I feel a little bit better but still can't English. Um, and then I did some work when I got home and now we're on our way. Also I'm wearing like literally active wear. This meeting tore like an actual normal people clothes, so. Well, I wasn't going to do this, Yeah. Anyways, okay, let's go. I'm trying to do like a really quick. Home from the meeting with the podcast manager, and it actually went so well. So, we're going to start that hopefully within the next week once it's all set up and ready to go. But now it's nap time. Oh. Also, listen, there's so much going on. We're at Tarte. My snack, I'm having four rice thins and powdered peanut butter. I've recently swapped from normal peanut butter to powdered just for like one of my snacks. Pretty much to save cows and so it's not as high fat, has some more protein in it. And then I have normal peanut butter later on. Mix it all together and you know that it's the best of both worlds. No, I'm not done yet. Wait till I finish. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! I want to see Jackie Wacky. <laughs> Jackie Wacky Wacky. Uh, oh shit. I got a package from Switch, which I have no idea what's in it, but I'm very excited to open it. I have their hot chocolate every single night, the adrenal switch one, and then I keep tagging them in my stories. And they said, can we send you stuff? And I said, absolutely. So I'm gonna see what's in it. Oh, fun. Don't mind my nails. I have literally one thumb on. I got the adrenal switch chocolate flavor, which is like the hot chocolate I have every night. I've nearly ran out, so it comes at perfect timing. There's collagen, which is again, chocolate flavored. That would be really interesting to try as well. I'm assuming like in a hot chocolate form too. And then they also included some greens powder and I actually don't have greens powder at the moment, but I would love to incorporate it into my diet. I just like haven't found one that I like and sits well with me and it's apple flavored, I think. So I'm keen to try that. And then these pro protein bars look elite but i can't have them like rocky road chalk fudge peanut butter they look so good and they're vegan so Tori and jackson you're welcome i'm making some lunch now i always have my rice pre-cooked in a big tub and then my mince as well so pretty much on the day i just put my mince and rice in here and then i'll cook my broccoli and zucchini because i like it more fresh on the day I've just topped it off with half fat QP mayo that I've already eaten some of it and now I'm just going to finish check-ins for the day. I have five left roughly which shouldn't take me too long. I feel like my hunger levels right now are pretty manageable like I do get hungry throughout the day sporadically but it's more so like okay I'll be ready for lunch or I'll be ready for my snack. It's more so the only time where I'm like 
freak I'm starving is like after my training session. So I always make sure that I have like a decent snack after that, um, which I'll probably show you a little bit later today, but I'm gonna finish this and then go train upper body. One, two, three, four. Ooh, picked up these two supplements yesterday. I've got L-carnitine and L-glutamine. This one's for like recovery and gut, and then this one is for like essentially the fat burner, I would say, before cardio, and I'm doing cardio today. Then I've got creatine, and then I've got my pump powder to make it pretty much taste good. You have like three kilos in these Let's get it. Normally I train around like 1 p.m. It's currently 3, so it's going to be really busy, but let's go. She's ready. We drove separately. <laughs> She's going to This is my current snack. It's 160 grams of Yopro yogurt, 100 grams of frozen blueberry, 12 grams of cocoa bombs, so random, I know, and 11 grams of peanut butter. Talk about being exact, but it's 5.50, which is way too late to be eating this snack, but I did train so much later than I normally do, so just trying to fit it in now. What is my hair doing as well? Can she calm down? I was on my back of the gym, I was like, get it off. That gym session, peak hour like peak hour i couldn't film everything because it was so busy i literally had to wait for some pieces of equipment then i did cardio after and my heart rate did not want to go up when you get a lot more lean it is a lot harder for your heart rate to get higher which i feel like is starting to happen now um so we just like literally didn't go up for some reason and i had to like really dial the elliptical up to the highest i've ever put it which is just like means that my heart rate's not going up so i was trying it wasn't like i was just chilling on a low setting i was going hard and just wouldn't move but i just try and hit roughly 200 cals like i just know that to have my average heart rate i have to hit like 200 cals um and i don't know what anyone else's could be that's just like my guesstimate because i know that roughly 30 minutes if my heart rate's between like 130 to 160 i'll burn over 200 cals so i just made sure it was over 200 and i was good to go just going to devour this chill for a bit then i'm going to have a shower do some work cook dinner do some more work and go to bed Oh. Like, we've just discussed, no, we've actually already known this. Yeah. But it's just like really evident today. When Tori's in a bad mood, I'm in the best mood. When I'm in the best mood, Tori's in a bad mood. And like, we just never line up. It's never bad, it, it's good, good. But it's never like bad, bad. We're yeah. just never in a bad mood. Yeah, we can be good, good, but we'll never be bad, bad. Yeah. Or and we'll be good, bad, bad. Like today, I'm just, no. And Tori's in a great mood. I'm thriving. And then probably the past week, I've been in a good mood and you have it. I was not in a good mood last week. No, you weren't. <laughs> I season with one spray of salt and 
One spray of olive it. oil and salt. You can do hard things, sweetie. I don't have any of like my old stuff. This is my dinner. I've got 250 grams of low carb potatoes, 160 grams of raw chicken, lettuce, cucumber, and then Nando's Peronese sauce. It's like what I have every single night at the moment. Oh We're obsessed with watching Indy Clinton. If you haven't seen her TikToks, oh, it's just so good. you are missing out. <laughs> Why is her voice like that? <laughs> I have literally spent the whole entire vlog in the kitchen. But again, it's my reality at the moment. I literally spend my whole entire life in the kitchen, in the office, at the gym, or walking. So that is what you're just gonna get. But time to make my hot chocolate. I have the adrenal switch one pretty much every single night. I literally just put boiling water and then one scoop of the chalk powder and then I zhuzh it off. They have different flavors of it as well and I really like the chalk mint one. I had one of Taylor's the other day. Okay. I'll text him. Justin, can you do something? What do you want? You've not been home all day. You haven't cleaned a fucking thing, cooked a thing, and now you're not helping me cook up your dinner. What do you want from me? Help me. I want to go to bed. Go to bed, I'll clean it up. No, now! Mom and Not dad right now! <laughs> Mom and dad are fighting. Come on. Why? Because I haven't seen you all day. It's the dramatic on the ground. <laughs> We're also dramatic in this house. <laughs> Sorry, <it's me. laughs> okay, this doesn't happen very often at all. I'm normally on top of my steps throughout the day. But for some reason, I thought I just would get 2,000 as soon as I got home. Like, I would just do, like, chores around the house and things and would rack them up that way. But I literally sat on my bum as soon as I got home and got, like, hardly any steps. So I still need to get 1,000 more. So I feel like this is the th uh, maybe the fourth or fifth time, actually, um, in 10 weeks. So, like, that's pretty good that I've actually had to go out at night to get extra steps. I'm going to turn around because I don't know who's there. And I don't want someone to see me filming myself. Um... So yeah, I've just got a thousand more. I'm just gonna go up and down my street. It's a little bit faster than doing them around the house. Don't feel like going for a proper walk because it's 9 p.m. at night. And I don't wanna be out on the streets too late or too far from home. But yeah, <laughs> this doesn't happen often. So like, don't think this is a normal thing. I'm normally a little bit more on top of them, but we're still getting them done no matter what. My camera died, so I'm filming on my phone. Also, my skin is just like, the humidity in Queensland is literally next level at the moment. And I don't know what to do about it because my skin hates it. I've swapped products to like really nice expensive ones and it's just like <sighs> not thriving. But nonetheless, can't do anything about that. Plus I'm like sweating all the time because of the gym and cardio and steps and it's hot here. My room doesn't have air con. It's literally a sauna in here, but what can you do? Anyways, I hit my steps, gotten into bed, just going to read some of my book and then head to sleep. But Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little bit boring, but like they're my days at the moment. So I'm just going to show you a real day in the life. And that was it. So subscribe, like, video, all the things, and I'll speak to my next vlog.